Alright, what up pimps and players, back again with another week, week two by the way. So last time I said read the first hour, or listen to the first hour of the 5am club, hopefully you did that, if not, don't worry because I'm going to summarize it very badly, but anyway, there, I, I don't know what's really going on in the book to be honest, there's like stories about this entrepreneur a little bit, like her stuff. I don't know where that's going, but she goes to this, uh, like, self-improvement seminar thing by this guy called the Spellbinder. Kind of a dorky name, but... And he gives this inspirational speech, which I do not remember totally, but it's just kind of like... I don't know, do what makes you feel happy, and things will come into fruition, believe it or not. And try to be the best you can be, always. So great words I suppose but that's kind of like the and the guy dies later I guess so that was the first hour hopefully it gets better and actually into like stuff you can do with your life but we'll have to see I, or I guess read <laughs> but anyway that was kind of that part of the book so hopefully you did that but if not oh well what can you do so I want to speak a little bit further on what you can actually do there's been a lot of people keeping this victim mentality in America, this group of people, if you will, and it, they're just kind of going all that, like, all wrong. So, like, everybody has tough times, some more than others, of course. Like, I can't say I've had the hardest life because I've lived in a suburb in Minnesota, but other people in the same situation might have had a worse thing than I did. But, oh well. But, moving forward on the victim thing, I don't know. You just gotta, like, pick yourself up sometimes. You can't always maintain this victim mentality, and if you keep it up, you'll you'll think of yourself as one always, and you're always the perfect one, but you can do no wrong, and it, the world's always trying to get you, which I, sometimes I might feel like it, but the world's just a natural force, my dude, so let's get past it sometimes, and keep up the good work, and things will... Uh, happen well to you. That was per poorly worded, but I think there's some truth in that. And just keeping yourself down all the time helps no one and actually causes a negative impact. There's enough weaklings and losers in this world as is. We don't need more of those, believe it or not. So, yeah, be be strong when you have the opportunity to be weak and things good things will happen. So, like, going further on that, there's a group of men called the MGTOW, men going their own way, and they kind of have this black pill outlook on things, like, oh, women, women will never like me because I'm not six-pack abs, six-foot-five. Like, yeah, some women might not like you because you're not a uh, epitome of a Greek god or something, but, like, those women, when they get to age 30 or whatever, and they're like, oh, my clock's ticking, they'll come to you, don't choose them. Let them learn from their mistakes that they were losers at that time. And, you know, they should pay for their mistakes like everybody else in this world. But, good things will happen to you. You just gotta look for them, you know? Like, maybe don't look on Tinder for love. I don't know, just an idea. Because there's gonna be some perfect people there. But, still going forward on the men going their own way thing. Like kind of sends a wrong mentality, like, do everything by yourself, like, that's good and all, being able to do everything by yourself, but it does not always lead to the best situations, like, eventually you're gonna die, you know, and if you, like, built up this great business empire or whatever, and you have no one to share it with, like, what's, what's the point, you know, like, nothing, uh, comes greatness out of doing everything by yourself, like, the ability to do stuff by yourself is great, but not being able to share your greatness with others, I think, is just where people go wrong and have the wrong outlook on things, and that's kind of my opinion on the matter. It's like, oh, I don't care about your 19-year-old opinion. Fair enough, but that's what I'm thinking. And uh, going on the men thing, what am I trying to say? But... Uh, so, like, we should still push for this family mentality. Like, I know there's women out there, men out there, they're like, oh, everything sucks, I don't want to raise kids in this world. Like, dude, great, we get more, less losers in the world eventually, because they're not going to reproduce. Like, good for us, man. 
uh, don't be one of those idiots, because the world will not be terrible if you actually do something about it. Like, there's these, the, uh, victims, again, are like, oh, everything, I can't do anything to prevent this. Like, of course you can. You're just too inept to decide, like, oh, I can actually make a difference. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, try to be the best you can be, as always. That's not great advice, but, uh, if you want to do fun stuff, I can, okay, what am I saying? But if you want to improve yourself, go to the gym, go outside. It's like, oh, that's, that's Larry's coming from the wise boy. No, it, it is, it is funny. I won't deny it. But look at me now, look at me now, I'm outside. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, go outside, work out, uh, meditate or something. Look, maybe read the Bible a little bit. It's like, oh, Carl, I don't believe. Like, maybe that's where you're wrong. You gotta get someone that'll... He loves you no matter what, but, like, maybe you should learn that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Just think about it. Try to be the best you can be. Bye-bye. Jesus loves you. So do I. Not in the gross way. No homo. Bye.